Hey guys, and welcome back to another YouTube video. So in today's video, I am going to be showing you something pretty cool and new that I've just done uh, with my computer. So if you guys have been subscribed for a while, you know I have a, a custom PC that I built myself. Um, and pretty much I've been wanting to for the past little while to be able to run both Mac and Windows on that computer because I do have two old iMacs or have an iMac and then a MacBook Air, but they're both from like 2010, 2013 uh, respectively. So they're not very good at video editing and they're fairly slow. So I figured, well, I want to video edit using Mac or I want to use Mac for some reason. Why don't I just put it on my regular PC? Now, I thought this was going to be a lot easier than it was, but now eventually, um, after many hours of working towards trying to do this, I've actually been able to load up a dual boot where I have both Windows and Mac on my computer. So I'll show you here. Um, it looks like I'm in the Mac desktop and that's because I am right now. But this is actually running off of my regular PC. So if I show you the specs here, you can see this is not an ordinary uh, Mac uh, and it shows you that we have 3.8 gigahertz Intel Core i5, uh, eight gigabytes of DDR4 and then an RX 480. Um, and I'm gonna show you these specs again in Windows just to show you that I am actually running this on the same computer. Now, if I go over to storage here, we can see I have Mac OS X. We have Untitled, which is just my other uh, my other drive that has Windows on it. And then I have my other two uh, data drives. So these are it's just partitioned into two different disks, but this is the one that I store like videos on and stuff like that. So you can see I do have my three drives. Memory, it says that it's like this. Um, so I have my two four gigabytes and then I have two empty slots, which is correct. And then you can see my two displays, which aren't the uh, the Mac display. So it's got this wrong here. It says I have a 4K 21.5 uh, inch display. Um, that's not correct. The displays are these ones here. Um, and yeah, so pretty much what I'm gonna do now is just show you guys um, me on Windows now, how the dual boot works. So when I load up my computer, uh, it first asked me, do you want to boot from Windows or do you want to boot from Mac? Do you want to boot off a recovery disk? Um, it asks me all the different boot options and then I select that every time. So I'll show you a quick video. It's just going to be off my phone. Uh, I know it's poor quality, but that's all I have to record because I can't screen record the, uh, the BIOS of the computer. So we'll roll into that now. So you guys can see here that we have our Clover bootloader. Uh, now what this does pretty much is it allows me to either select if I want to run Windows or run Mac. So you can see here it says boot Microsoft. I've gone ahead and I've clicked that and you can see we run through the BIOS and we should be at the Windows loading screen. Uh, there we are. So now we're at the Windows loading screen and you can see I can sign it to my account. Okay, so now we are in my Windows desktop. Uh, this may look slightly familiar to some of you guys if you've been subscribed or if you've seen some of my previous videos. This is the one that I typically would use to record. Anyways, here um, I have the specs brought up here just in control panel. So you can see I have my Intel i5 at 3.79 gigahertz, 3.8, whatever, eight gigabytes of RAM, 64-bit uh, OS. Uh, in this case, we're in running Windows 10. So I'll go ahead, I'll close that. You can see if we look over at MSI Afterburner here, uh, we can see my Radon RX 480 graphics card um, and the specs for that as well. And then if I close that, last but not least, we can see my disk drives here. So we have our SSD, uh, which is the 120 gig, and then we have our 240 gig. Um, it is to be noted that if you want to do this on your own computer, you can actually just partition your disk so that you have two separate partitions, one for Mac, one for Windows. You don't have to actually buy two separate hard drives like I did, although it, it does work uh, slightly better if you do that. And then I have my other drive, which is my one terabyte actual hard drive, so with the spinning disk in it, um, that had that two partitions on it that we saw before. So I am indeed running um, this Mac and Windows dual boot off of the same computer. And right now, as I talk, I'm just going to load up a few photos um, and show you what my setup looks like just to show you I, I don't have a Mac computer. Um, I'm just running the uh, it off my Windows machine. So the way that I was able to accomplish that, and I'm sure this is why a lot of you guys clicked on this video, you're wondering how you can do the same thing. Um, it's very complex. So it's called building a Hackintosh. So pretty much what a lot of people do is they want to run Mac, but they don't want to spend $2,500, $3,000 on a Mac computer. So they spend $1,000, $1,200 building a really good PC, and then they just install Mac on that computer. Now, the thing is Mac is really hardware dependent. 
that means that it requires a certain graphics card, certain processors, and certain drivers. So if you have an AMD processor, for example, you're not going to be able to run macOS on your computer. Um, that's like if you have some NVIDIA cards, they don't work and there's no drivers for them on Mac. So fortunately for me, um, I have an i5, which is an Intel processor. So any Intel based processor typically works. And I have an AMD graphics cards and those typically work as well. So other than that, uh, it doesn't really matter what type of hard drives you have, power supply, none of that matters. It's just really the graphics card and the processor. Also, some motherboards have issues booting into Mac as it runs a different file system than Windows. So uh, I'm not sure what the two file systems are called, but pretty much a Mac drive can't be read on Windows and a Windows drive can't be read on Mac unless they're format formatted appropriately or there's third party software that's able to do that. So what will happen if you don't install what's called a bootloader, which is what I have um, that and you guys saw the video of that previously where it said, do you want to boot from Windows UEFI or do you want to boot from Mac? Um, so on for Mac OS X, then your motherboard won't let you boot onto uh, the Mac OS operating system because it's not recognized in the uh, in the motherboard there pretty well. So there's a lot of steps that go into doing it. Um, it's really software related. So once you have the hardware done, um, you just have to make a live USB using a Mac computer. So you already have to have a Mac for this to work. Um, once you have that USB, then you have to install the bootloader onto it. And then you have to boot from the bootloader onto the USB where you can then install Mac onto your hard drive. Uh, once you have it on your hard drive, you have to boot again from the USB and then install the bootloader onto that hard drive. And it's just a whole bunch of steps. But if you guys want to see how to do this, uh, a full tutorial, it's probably going to be like a 20 or 30 minute tutorial, honestly, if I do it, um, then make sure you leave a like on this video and leave a comment down below saying you want to see uh, how this is done. And I'll be sure to release a tutorial for you guys. So that's been it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure you Leave a like and hit that subscribe button and I will see you again in another video.